Good evening, scamps, scallywags, and scoundrels. My name is Brad, aka Sluggo. I go by Mysterioso on Instagram. And tonight, I'm going to talk to you about hats. My hat obsession. The hat. This is only a piece of my collection, but I wanted to pull these out and talk about the style of a hat and how you can transform your own style with the magnificent style accessory of the hat, the lid, the brim, the sky piece, <laughs> whatever it is you want to call it. The hat is the most transformative style accessory in my humble opinion. Uh, now there was a time when uh, damn near every man and woman had multiple hats and they wore them every single day. I don't know if you've ever seen Miss Maisel. I'm kind of the male version of that. Maybe, kind of, not really, but you get the point. Um, I do have a bit of a hat obsession. And, uh, like I said, it has to do with how it makes me feel when I put it on, right? I mean, there, is, there is something about taking the hat, and when you put it on your head and adorn yourself with it, depending on what you're wearing, and you go out and, and, uh, and in public show wherever you're going with it it just transforms you into uh, something else so i highly recommend a hat now you may be thinking about um, getting a hat yourself maybe you have multiple hats um, perhaps this video will help you determine which hat suits your personal style i'll try to guide you in that right direction i'm not a stylist i'm kind of a weirdo when it comes to style i have my own personal style and uh, it is typically not that mainstream. Um, and, uh, you know, you're going to have to determine the styles that you like and the clothing that you wear to try to determine which hat is going to work best for your own personal style. So with that, let's give a bit of an overview as to the, the anatomy of a hat, right? So your hat has a crown. It has a brim, um, there's a hat band, right? You've got a sweat band underneath it, right? And a lot of them come with liner, some of them don't. That's the basic anatomy. Now, when you get into a hat and you're talking about, you know, different styles, you can, you know, you could get a fedora, right? Which this is basically a fedora. Most people think that the fedora has the pinch on the, on the front of it and it has the center dent and that would be true, but that doesn't mean that all fedoras are, um, have a pinch and a, and a center dent. This is actually an open crown fedora, meaning when they blocked it, um, and pulled it off, it just, it looks just like this. And then they didn't pinch it. They didn't put a center, uh, dent in it. So essentially this is what a fedora looks like before they put the, the pinch and the center dent into it. So uh, I personally like open crown hats like this. You can see a couple in the, the collection. Um, so let me walk through my collection and kind of describe to you some of the hats that I have and why I like them and, and where I got them. Most of the hats that you see here um, are they're mostly custom, not all of them. Um, you don't have to buy a custom hat. There's plenty of great uh, off the rack hats, uh, you know, Gorn Brothers, Stetson, you know, there's plenty of hat companies that you could make a purchase from and, and they make a, a great quality hat. However, <clears throat> when you get a custom made hat, I, I, I'm telling you, friends, that is a magnificent experience if you go to the right place. There's nothing like having your, your head measured and the configurator put on your head is kind of scary, but, um, you know, having, having that discussion on, you know, what your styles are and looking at different felts and different ribbons and, and bands and stuff like that and, and, and trying to figure out, you know, the, the, um, the top of the crown, what do you want? Is it a flat brim? Is it a stingy brim, kind of shorter brim, snap brims, etc. cetera. Um, so with that, you know, I, my personal style generally leads, leans towards, um, 
what we call it, like these these wide flat rims. And I, I love a pencil curl. You'll see the edge right here where it just kind of has a little curl. Uh, I think that's referring to uh, when they would make the curl, it, they would take a little piece of a pencil and kind of fold it up. I'm guessing, look, I don't make hats for a living. I just buy hats and I know a lot about them because I've been obsessed over them, but I'm certainly not an expert. There's tons of people out in the world that know way more about hats than I do. That's a fact. I'm just trying to give you some of my own um, style tips and some of the things that I've experienced when buying hats. And so this hat um, in particular comes from uh, Zito Hat Company. I don't know if you could see that underneath there. Uh, this is a, a just a, a nice black tall crown fedora. You can see it's got this the teardrop dent on the top of it. And these two little pinches right here in the front. So teardrop see shape of a teardrop and it has this kind of like telescopic uh little little dent in the top that's what they call it a telescopic um uh, crown so that is the zito wide brim pencil curl tall crown fedora uh, this this masterpiece right here is from a gentleman goes by a, the name Busto and Son. He is in uh, Topanga Canyon, which is kind of down the corner, down around the corner from me. He's got a wonderful shop in Topanga. If you're in the area, I highly recommend that you go see him. His name is Enrico, and he's a fabulous human being, and he makes beautiful hats. This is a, um, this one's kind of an interesting one. Uh, th the color is kind of this, this bone, felt and again with the wide flat brim and the pencil curl but you can see the, the crown on the top has what we call a, a a cattleman's crease so the cattleman's crease originated you know old west right the old cowboy hats in not in new cowboy hats they have a cattleman's crease so so on the top it looks kind of country kind of you know westerny looking and then with that big wide flat brim i would call that it's a little more you know, dare I say city, you know, so this is a, a, a bit of like this country meets city kind of weird oddball um, style. And it's got this glorious hat band on it that is like new old stock from Italy. You can't really see the details of it, but it's got this gold herringbone. It's just, it, it's glorious. And I've adorned this with a skeleton leaf and pyrite and my signature um, porcupine quill. So again, that's a, a beautiful hat and, and you gotta have, you know, gotta. Uh, I would recommend having uh, a, a variety of different colors that you choose from. You can see that my palette is generally in the blacks, creams, whites, and grays. Uh, that's just how I roll. Uh, this, this particular brim is from a, uh, a hat maker in Italy and I'm gonna probably butcher the name. It's M-O-V-E, which in, in English would be move, but it's in Italy, so maybe it's move, I, I don't know. So if I'm butchering the name, please forgive me, but uh, great hats. Um, my wife and I were in Italy a couple of years ago and we went to this, this badass haberdashery in Rome and uh, they had just this wonderful selection and, and uh, there was a, a couple of pieces there. I bought this one when I was there and it has this kind of, kind of a distressed look to it, um, but not too distressed, but it's just a straight, you know, nice, um, not too wide of a, a, a brim, um, kind of a medium brim, tall crown fedora. Uh, but this is awesome. Got, again, got this in, in Italy and then I picked this one up um, when I got back because I was kind of obsessing over that the, um, the hat maker at that point in time and, and, and got this one as well. So very, very, very similar. You can see it's got kind of this distressed band on it. Um, now, in America, there's a lot of hat, mag hat makers, hat manufacturers that are making um, like these distressed hats, right? And, and there's, I, I like distressed hats. It's not my aesthetic so much. Uh, I dig them. Sometimes I'll wear them. It just depends on you know what, what the uh, what the environment is. Um, my aesthetic is generally a little bit more clean. I like you know I, I wear a lot of like suits and waistcoats and and you know scarves and um, ties and whatnot. And so I try to 
uh, get hats that will uh, amplify that kind of style. So again, you got to kind of look at your own personal style and, and, and think, all right, do I want to get something that's distressed or I do, wanna, do I want to get something that's a little more clean? Uh, I tend, uh, or recently I've been going to European milliners because that aesthetic is a little bit more clean, whereas everything's kind of, in America, it seems to be this kind of, um, you know, this, this uh, tattered kind of look again. So, so uh, some of the hats that I've got here in my collection are from European makers just because they have that aesthetic. And, and one of those is this beautiful uh, Homburg from a, uh, a hat maker named Hoofwood. I'm probably butchering that name again. Um, <clears throat> this is a, uh, he, uh, he's Swedish and the, it is H-U-F-V-U-D. And uh, the style of this, again, is a Homburg, and this is a tall crown kind of Homburg, and it's got this, you know, uh, this curled brim on it. And this is just a, this is a beautiful hat. I wish you could, you could see, touch, and, and, and feel this thing. It's just, it, it feels great. Uh, and this was moderately priced for, for a custom piece. And uh, I'd say that this is, this is a, a very well-made hat. I really love it a lot. Uh, it has that classic 30s kind of gangster mobster style to it. Um, so that kind of sets it off, right? Uh, with this, this is a piece that I got in um, Joyride Vintage. Um, the hat company is called Garahan Hats. Uh, again, in the back of a vintage store. So I, it's a very, very cool store. And they got a, a, a great little hat making um, ap operation going on back there. I got the... Uh, the open crown again, a nice big black open crown with a, uh, a wide flat brim with a pencil curl. And this is adorned with uh, a horsehair band, like a braided horsehair band and some amethyst and, and like a vintage nail. But I, I love this piece. Um, very cool for, you know, hanging out in the desert and keeping the, uh, the, the sun off of your face. The, the, the piece that I'm wearing here is uh, from a Norwegian maker. Uh, the, the name is Haga. I believe I'm pronouncing that correct, H-A-G-A. And uh, what I love about this is it's a top hat, obviously, but it's this wide brim kind of top hat and it's asymmetrical. So you can see the top kind of slants down. This is just a, a an odd piece. You just don't see things like this um, in your normal shop. So. Uh, I, I, I love this this hat. It, it is a bold statement, you know, that it, you don't get to wear it every day. So I, I look forward to the opportunities when I do get to wear it, which is why I'm wearing it tonight on uh, this video. So another piece that I really, really love is this long fur bolero. Again, from Enrico in Busto and Son in Topanga. Uh, this it's it's a furry hat you probably can't see the texture of it but it's it has this beautiful telescopic crown on it and uh, vintage uh, French band and it is a, a glorious beautiful piece uh, just wide straight brim uh, the bolero is I think Portuguese in origin uh, seen it in like the old West movies like Clint Eastwood you know so I love I love the the style the aesthetic of this very very kind of mysterious kind of creepy kind of uh, um, what's the word I'm looking for uh, kind of villain you know kind of makes me feel like like a, a cartoon villain when you put that thing on <laughs> so that's kind of cool uh, this lid right here is just a classic uh, high crown fedora flat brim this is from Goran this is just right off the rack at, at Goran Brothers. Uh, I love this. This is a great all-around hat. You can see I put a bunch of crap all over it. Um, lavender from outside of a, uh, a winery up in, uh, in Santa Ynez and some feathers and a bunch of other stuff. Um, but this is just a fun hat just to, uh, you know, wear around for, you know, if you're going out wine drinking or hanging out in the desert or, or whatever it is you do with a hat like this. So another hat that I totally dig and it is odd and big and beautiful and that is the campaign hat so the campaign hat you've seen on say highway patrol highway patrolmen um drill sergeants 
this is a, a kind of military hat, but actually the the origins of it come from the um, the Mexican sombrero, believe it or not. So um, what's great about this hat is I, I had this one made for um, taking walks with uh, my wife. <laughs> and uh, I didn't, again, I don't like the sun, so I, I wanted something with a really wide brim that kept the sun off of my face. And you just can't find a wide brim white uh, campaign hat like this. So uh, again, again with Busto and Son, you can see that under there. Uh, this was the, my first hat from, from Enrico and this is beautiful. So uh, I've got the campaign cord on it. So it, and, and I, I also put a bunch of feathers on it cause I wanted it to kind of be this artistic piece about, you know, military being overtaken by like peace and love and um <laughs> so because it has this such a, 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 a an authoritarian kind of look i wanted to really take that vibe and just like cover it with you know feathers and stuff like that so so it makes it feel like you know the authority's kind of lost in this one so the campaign hat <clears throat> Long fur. I love, as, as you saw with this bolero, I love long fur. This is a long fur top hat. I've got quite a few top hats in my collection. This is only one of, of many. Uh, and this is a long fur uh, top hat that is just um, glorious. It's very um, extravagant. You certainly don't get to wear this one on everyday occasions. But uh, it, it, it is a, it's, it's rather light, but it's also just furry and, and kind of bold. So, you know, that when you walk into a room with a, a, a big furry top hat on, um, get, you'll definitely get some, some looks and uh, people asking you what the hell is going on with that shit on your head. So um, the long fur top hat. Long fur is cool. Uh, you, you know, it's not for everybody. Uh, it's certainly hard to pull off in Southern California because it's so hot. I don't know what I was thinking when I'm buying those things, but you know, they just look so cool and, and they, they feel so good when you put them on. Um, but then you're walking around in like, eight, you know, 85 degree weather, you know, a hundred percent of the year. So, um, so there's that anyway, um, go out and support your local hat shop. Um, if there is a milliner or a hat maker in your area, Go in there and talk to them, strike up a conversation, talk to them about your personal style. Take a look at your wardrobe, you know, what, what are you wearing? Is it, is it, you know, plaid and jeans? You know, if, you, if, you're, if you're wearing flannels and jeans and stuff like that, I would say a wide, a wide brim, tall crown fedora would probably go really well with that, you know, or perhaps a, uh, an open crown something like that you could wear it on the on the back of your head it would be pretty cool you know if you're more vintage style and suits you know perhaps a a classic homburg would uh, would suit your style or um you know maybe a a, a very nice uh felt fedora tall crown wide brim maybe that would suit your style but it's up to you hats are a personal style and again they are very transformative I love the hat. I'm not a hat expert. I'm not a hat maker. I'm just obsessed over hats, and I wanted to share this with you tonight. Share you share with you a part of my collection. Um, this is not even half of it. Um, <laughs> again, the obsession is real. So, if you like what you see, please hit the subscribe button. Hit the like button. Follow me on Instagram at Mysterioso and. You don't have to go home, but you can stay here. Peace.